Are you tired of FPS drops, stutters, and lag in CS2? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you hidden CS2 tweaks to boost FPS plus fix FPS drops using powerful Windows settings, CPU and GPU optimizations, and secret tools that pros use to get max performance. Stick around, this might completely change how smooth your game runs. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimizing Windows for CS2 Using the Storage Sense settings First, you need to open the Settings app on your Windows computer. In the search bar at the top, type Storage Sense and press Enter. After that, click on the Storage Sense option that shows up and make sure it is turned on. This setting helps your computer automatically delete junk files, temporary files, and files you no longer need. These files can build up and slow down your system over time. Next, click on the option that says Configure Cleanup Schedules. Inside this menu, change the setting to run every single day. Also, change the option to delete files in the recycle bin after 14 days. This helps keep your computer clean and frees up space. Once you finish setting everything up, click on the button that says Run Storage Sense Now to start cleaning up your system right away. If you keep using this feature regularly, your PC will stay fast and you won't have to clean it manually every time. Step 2. Optimizing Windows for CS2 Using the ultimate power plan for gaming, you can get all the files I use in the pack for my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make sure your PC is running with the most power possible, you need to change your current power plan to something called the Ultimate Performance Plan. First, click on the Windows search bar and type Power. When you see the option Change Power Plan, click on it. If your computer is currently using the Balanced Power Plan, that is not the best for gaming because it saves energy by lowering CPU performance. To get better gaming performance, change it to High Performance, or even better, enable the Ultimate Performance Plan. To enable this, go to the FPS Boost Pack that you downloaded earlier. Inside that folder, find the file named Ultimate Performance Command and run it as administrator. Once the command runs, you will see a message saying the Ultimate Performance Plan has been added. Now go back to the Power Plan settings and select Ultimate Performance from the list. This setting makes sure your CPU always runs at full speed, which means smoother gameplay and higher FPS in games like CS2. Step 3. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack for my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your computer's CPU has multiple cores to handle different tasks. But to save energy, Windows sometimes parks or disables some of these cores, which can make your computer slower while gaming. To fix this, we are going to unpark all CPU cores. After installation, right-click on the program and choose Run as Administrator so that it can make system-level changes. Once the program opens, it will show you which CPU cores are parked and which ones are already active. To unpark all the parked cores, click on the Unpark button inside the tool. This will activate all the CPU cores and help your processor run at full power. This will give you a noticeable performance improvement in games like CS2. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware. You can get all the files I use in the pack for my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Performance for CS2 MSI Utility is another tool that helps make your PC faster. It reduces delays from your hardware and makes it respond more quickly. After downloading it, open the tool. You will see a list of all the devices in your system. Find your dedicated graphics card, GPU, like an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card. Tick the checkbox under the MSI column for it and set the interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU, like Intel UHD graphics. Tick the MSI box for that as well and set its interrupt priority to high too. Once you've done this, click the apply button in the bottom right corner, then close the program. This helps reduce input delay and makes your computer respond faster, improving your CS2 gameplay. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. 
finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Optimizing Windows for CS2 with Ultimate Windows Tweaker. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. You can improve your PC even more by using a tool called Ultimate Windows Tweaker. This tool lets you adjust many hidden Windows settings quickly. First, open the tool and go to the Performance tab. Apply all the suggested tweaks like disabling apps that start when your PC turns on, turning on automatic restart after system crashes, and disabling visual effects like smooth scrolling and page preloading. These changes will lower your memory and CPU usage, making your computer faster. You can also turn off services that you don't use, like tablet input service, if you don't have a touchscreen, Windows Security Center, if you use a different antivirus, and the prefetch service. Disabling prefetch helps by removing temporary data that might slow down your system. Now go to the additional section and click on Network Tweaks. Enable the option called Onboard Network Adapter Processor to speed up your internet. Also, limit anonymous network connections to improve safety and turn off network features like recent shares and default admin share. You can also choose to hide your PC from network discovery to reduce background tasks. After applying all these tweaks, click Apply Tweaks and restart your computer. Your system will now run more smoothly, use fewer resources, and perform better in games like CS2. Step 6. Boosting GPU Performance with MSI Afterburner for CS2 You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Let's now boost your graphics card using MSI Afterburner. Go to the folder where you downloaded your tools and install MSI Afterburner. After the installation, open the app. You'll see sliders for power limit, temperature limit, core clock, and memory clock. Start by increasing the power limit and temperature limit to their maximum values. Do not change the core voltage slider. Leave it as it is. Now increase the memory clock slider slowly, 20 points at a time. For example, if it starts at 0, change it to 20, then 40, and so on. After each adjustment, play a game and check if everything runs smoothly. If the game works fine, you can raise it even more. Once you find a stable setting that gives good performance, click Apply to save it. This helps your GPU run better and gives you more FPS and smoother gameplay in CS2. Step 7. Optimize Windows for best performance for CS2. To make sure your Windows system runs as fast as it can, you should turn off visual effects that use up memory and CPU power. Click on the search bar and type Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click on the option that appears to open the Performance Options window. Inside the window, choose the setting that says Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off all unnecessary visual effects. However, if you still want your system to look readable and clear, manually tick these two checkboxes. Smooth edges of screen fonts, so that the text is easier to read. Show thumbnails instead of icons, so you can see previews of your files instead of plain icons. Click Apply to confirm your changes. Next, go to the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This will give more power to the apps and games you are using, rather than background programs. Click OK to save everything. Your windows will now run faster, your programs will open quicker, and you'll get much better performance in CS2. If this step-by-step -step guide helped you improve your PC's gaming speed and fix lag in CS2, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. More guides and full optimization videos are on the way. See you next time.